Hello, in this video we're going to do a problem involving arithmetic sequences. The question says, how many terms are in the arithmetic sequence? And we have negative 3.4, negative 1.1, 1.2, 3.5. The dots indicate that there's numbers missing, and then 38. Let's work through it. Solution. We're going to use a formula to solve for the number of terms. The formula is the formula that gives you the nth term. The nth term is a sub n equals a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d. This formula gives you the nth term of an arithmetic sequence. a sub 1 is the first term. d is called the common difference. a sub n is the last term or the nth term. Um, it, there's not always a last term. Sometimes these sequences go on forever. However, in this case, we do know a sub n. It's going to be 38 because that's the last term. And a sub 1 is the first term, so that's negative 3.4, plus parentheses n minus 1, and then we need to figure out d. d is called the common difference. So to get d, you basically you have to ask yourself, what are you adding to negative 3.4 to get to negative 1.1? Looks like 2.3, right? If we add 2.3 to negative 3.4, we're going to get negative 1.1. Same thing here, right? If you, if you take 2.3 and you add it to negative 1.1, you're going to get to 2. Same thing here. If you add 2.3 to 1.2, you're going to get 3.5, etc. So it looks like we're adding 2.3 over and over and over again. So D is going to be 2.3. So just to recap, just to make sure you're following, A sub N was 38. That's the nth term, or the last term in this case. a sub 1 is the first term, so that was negative 3.4. And d is the common difference, that was 2.3. We plug that into our formula for the nth term, or general term. And now we're going to solve for n. So we have 38 equals negative 3.4. Let's go ahead and distribute this 2.3. 2.3 times n is just going to be plus 2.3n. And 2.3 times negative 1 is minus 2.3. I could do some math here. We've got 38 equals. We've got negative 3.4 and a negative 2.3. We're combining those. It's going to give us negative 5.7 plus 2.3n. We can add 5.7 to both sides plus 5.7. We end up with 38 plus 5.7, which is going to give us 20, uh, 40, 43.7, and that's equal to 2.3n. Handwriting fell apart. Let me just clean that up. 43.7, and that's equal to 2.3n. Okay, so now we have to solve for n, so we divide by 2.3, divide by 2.3. I'm going to put this in a calculator to see what it is. We've got 43.7 divided by 2.3, 19. So we get 19 terms, 19 terms in this. So you know you did it wrong when you do this and you don't get a whole number, so that'd be a problem, right? So I'm very happy that we got 19 because that's a whole number and all is good. So. That's how you do it. I hope uh, this has been helpful to someone out there who is trying to figure out how many terms there are in an arithmetic sequence. Good luck.